Today, we're going to learn about Gorilla Man the 18th and 19th. They are both intertwined with each other, so I might as well tell the tale of both of them. continue the legacy of Gorilla Man and keep it strong, he eventually had a son that he would later name Arthur, and Arthur would be his apprentice for the Gorilla Man bloodline. It was so important to keep alive, to keep the people safe. Mal trained his son Arthur well, and Arthur became a really good warrior especially with the Gorilla Man sword. He was one of the best swords experts in existence from all the training he got from different swordsmen. But after Mal died, it was time for Arthur to take his place as Gorilla Man. Mal was devastated, but he knew he had to continue on the legacy, keep the name alive, and make sure that there was something of course, he eventually got married to somebody and had a kid himself. But, unfortunately, Mao would perish during the next Hero Master War, the Spider War. And it, it seems that the Gorilla Man legacy was over, that Arthur was the last one. And for a bit that was true. But... The child that he had was a daughter and couldn't continue the legacy until she eventually got married to a man and then together they created Girl Man the 20th, which ended up being a big mistake. <laughs> 